Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. I here have another video inside Stampy's lovely world, and hello Esther! Do you remember Esther, the little chicken that I got on Easter? How are you doing today? Fluttering around, loving it. <laughs> Esther hasn't been in a video, I have been letting her um, wander around my house a bit, but she's come home, she's come back to her balcony, and uh, she seems to be absolutely loving it, so I'm going to leave you there. <laughs> anyway, in this video, I'm doing something kind of different to what I normally do. I normally, I'm just building something in the video, and it goes boring, it's me just placing blocks. But today, I'm doing a proper Let's Play video. I'm going to go uh, into the nether, and I'm going to go and gather a bunch of materials um, to make potions and stuff. Um, I'm playing this after uh, title update 9 and I had made a few videos uh, before title update 9 which I sort of had to upload uh, but I finally have the update now in one of my videos and I'm going to make the most of it. I've reset the nether and I'm going to head down there and I'm going to go and try and get some blaze rods to make some brewing stations and I'm going to try and bring up some nether wart to make a nether wart farm and uh, all sorts of exciting stuff like that. But first, I'm going to add someone to my love garden and today I am adding someone called Charlotte Brewer and wait a minute, have I added her before? I just had a massive feeling of deja vu. Is Charlotte here? Is Charlotte anywhere? Have I added her? I don't know if I have. I think I might just be going mad. I think I just might uh, recognise her name because she comments on my videos a lot. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm adding Charlotte Brewer because she made a really amazing video with her sister, which is like a real-life live-action video, but acting out things that I do in Minecraft. And so yeah, she made it with her sister, and it's called 10 Things That Stampy Does in Minecraft, and they don't quite get to 10. I think they do five things, then probably ran out of time or something. Uh, but it's a really funny video, and it made me laugh, and it makes fun of my bad jokes and my inability to do lots of things in Minecraft. Uh, so I'll leave that as a link in the description if you want to check it out. So thank you very much, Charlotte. I absolutely love the video, and welcome to my love garden. And uh, I should get prepared now. I should um I should make some armor, because um, I'm naked right now, so don't look. <laughs> Don't look away. Look away from your screen as I'm getting dressed. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go right up into the corner like this and uh, do that. That way you can't see me as I get dressed. See me all naked. <laughs> right, so let's go and put all my armor on. And there we go. Now you can see me. Now I look properly dressed. Look at me. I'm like a knight. Look at me with my diamond sword. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be scaring off all of the zombie pigmen. And I might actually... Uh, enchant my sword. I never enchant my sword and stuff, so uh, I've got 20 levels, which is okay. I did at one point, like, have 40 levels or something, then I died and lost it all. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to come in here and enchant my sword and hopefully get something good, because uh, this should be, um, well, this will be quite a dangerous video. Uh, so let's see what I can get. 13, 11, 7, 18. I think that's about the best I'm going to get for now. What did I get? I got Bane of Aphropods 3, which I have no idea what it does, and Fire Aspect 1. Great, I can set the magma cubes on fire because that's going to do a lot of good, isn't it? <laughs> so what the plan of the video is, is mainly just to get blaze rods. I want to find a nether fortress and try and get some blaze rods so I can make some more brewing stands for my, uh, my secret base. Uh, in my next video after this one, uh, I'm going to be building like a research center in my secret base uh, so I can research new weapons and stuff so I can fend off my nemesis, the evil hit the target, uh, who I keep seeing ghosting, uh, ghostly hauntings of. So uh, I'm going to try and develop some sort of, I don't know, some sort of protection uh, so I won't get attacked by hit the target again as a ghost or something. Uh, so yeah, I want to go and get some blaze rods. I want to get some nether wart and uh, some magma cream as well I need. And here we go, here's my new nether. Oh, look at this! How awesome does this look? Like, it looks very similar. This area here kind of looks the same, apart from there's massive bridges everywhere. Uh, because in title update 9, if you didn't know, uh, there's an option to reset the nether. And uh, that, that's what I've done. And oh look, I got, I got all of the things that everyone else has had for ages. And if you're wondering, by the way, about if I'm going to go to the end at all in my lovely world, um, I can't... Uh, unless I cheated and used creative mode, and I don't really want to do that. Um, I can't go to the end, uh, so I am actually currently doing a series with Ballistic Squid, uh, where the whole point of the series is to kill the evil Ender Dragon. Uh, so if you want to check that out, uh, I'm going to leave that uh, as a link in the description. And uh, yeah, I might as well get some glowstone while I'm here. I didn't think about this. Like, what I could do is gather up all the glowstone and all the soul sand and all of the, the actually useful stuff. And then just reset the never and do it all over again. <laughs> this glowstone is just in such an easy place to gather. I just can't pass it by. And the whole point is to gather materials. People always like tell me that 
I should do proper Let's Play videos. <laughs> like, my videos is basically me just building and playing, but I never really do any mining or any of the the proper Minecraft activities, like, I don't know, cutting down trees. And apparently people find that really exciting, so I guess that's what I'm doing in this video. And I guess that's kind of what I'm going to be doing in my series with Squid, because I'm going to be starting a new world from scratch. It's all going to be like proper Minecraft survival because I got a pretty cushy life to be honest on Minecraft. I've got a lot of food and I got a lot of helpers and I got a nice house and stuff so I'm basically set. I'm basically living the life of royalty so it's going to be nice uh, starting again from the beginning. I, I want to get to the Never Fortress though. I can see all like the massive bridges but not actually where the, the actual Never Fortress is. Um, I guess I should just pile something up and try and get into it I assume. I try and pile some up here. I love the music. Don't you love the music in the background? It sounds so like, it's it's slightly ominous, but not really. It is still kind of soothing. I mean, it's not like normal Minecraft music. It is a bit more mystical. I really like it though. It sounds like Pink Floyd or something. <laughs> this is probably the kind of like progressive music I would listen to if I wasn't playing Minecraft, but now it's in Minecraft, so it's jolly good. Right, okay, I want to be careful now because this is where the blaze are. And oh, I can hear stuff. I can hear, Oh, is that a ghast I heard or something? Right, I want to be careful. I don't want to get knocked down here, right? Easy tiger. Oh, oh there's lava. <laughs> if, I, if I was just a little bit to the right, I could have very easily just walked straight into that lava. Right, sword ready, sword at hand. Okay, I'm hungry as well. I should have something to eat quick. <laughs> you can see I brought some provisions with me. I brought some cake as well, uh, as well as a bunch of pork chops. I think I'll save the cake for later. I'll save the cake for a celebration when I leave and get saved. And here we go. Look, I've got a proper nether fortress. <laughs> I've never seen one of these before. Well, I have, but only in other people's worlds and in, like, creative mode. It's kind of nice to have all of this exciting stuff in my own world. Uh, I don't know where to go. Oh, look. Oh, look, there's Blaze. Oh, look, there's loads of them. Oh, I should have brought a bow and arrow and fired it at them. Oh, no, there's more blaze here. Oh, look, there's a blaze spawner. Right, let's get my torch out. I need to get a torch on. Oh, no, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Oh, why have I got blaze? Why have I got something that sets them on fire? Oh, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. Run away, run away, run away. I don't know what to do. I don't want to take them on. They're going to own me. Look how many there are. Right, I'm going to block this off here. I'm going to block this area off. I need to kill at least one to get some blaze rods, though, right. That way I'm going to have none coming from this way at least. Oh, block that off as well. Right, okay, let's try and take this one out, shall we? If I try and get it here just around the corner, hopefully it won't hit me back. There we go, I killed it. I killed it. Oh, no, look at them all. Look how many there are. Oh, they're going to own me. Right, I'm blocking it off. I got one blaze rod. That will do for now. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, blaze. Oh, I need to block the doorway off. Oh, it set me on fire again. Oh, these guys are owning me. I need protection. Why didn't I bring a Minecraft slave with me? A Minecraft bodyguard. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, look at them all. No, they've set me on fire again. Run away. That's it. I'm running away. I'm running away. I'm running away. Running away. Running away. Oh no. I've only got two hearts left. Oh no. Okay. I'm just going to go down this way. I'm just going to ignore them. Right. Have I got any any stuff to block it off? Right. I'll just use cobblestone for now. I'm just going to block this whole area off. God, they were evil, weren't they? They just kept spawning there. I'm going to be scared trying to get back out of here now. Let's just block this whole tunnel off, shall we? And let's go carry on exploring. Oh, what's this place? This place looks quite cool. There's like a random pot of lava. I can have a little bath, a little jacuzzi down there. Cook some of my pork chops, make them extra toasty. Would be lovely. Um, okay, I'm, I'm not going to jump up there, though. I'm going to I'm gonna give it some space. And oh, look, here we go. This is what I was after. This is never what this stuff's called. And I believe it needs to grow on soul sand. Yeah, look, there's soul sand all down there. Right, let me go grab all this never what up. And then I can take that back. Uh, because since title update 9... Um, you can actually uh, grow never wart on the overworld. Like previously, you could get it, uh, but I don't think you could grow it like up in your own world. Uh, but if I grab a bunch of this, and I've got some soul sand anyway, I might grab some more. I'm just kind of scared there's going to be lava or something under here. No, here we go, it's safe. <laughs> so if I get some of this soul sand as well, then I can take this all back, and then I can have a little never wart farm. I can grow my own warts like I've always wanted. <laughs> Hasn't everyone always wanted to grow their own warts? Isn't that something that people have always wanted to do? How much have I got? I've got loads. i got like almost two stacks of never wart. I mean, that's all I need. I mean, I really only needed one and then I could have just kept growing it and getting more and stuff. Oh, what's up here? Oh, I can see a pigman. Pigmen are okay. If you if you hit one, they all go for you, but they're docile at first. Right, okay, here we go. Oh, look, there's, there's something over there. There's some, there's some fire through there. Let's, let's, let's go and see what's around this way. Oh, I like this place. It's so cool being actually in a proper nether fortress. And oh my god! It's hit the target! Hit the target! It's hit 
why is he in hell? Oh, it's because I killed him. It's, it's the, the evil, evil Stampy Longnose. Huh? What, what, what did you say? I said it's the evil Stampy Longnose. No, you're the evil one. You're the one that tried stealing my dogs and taking over my world. Stealing your dogs? <laughs> I was trying to save your dogs. Save them from what? You. How many dogs have died because of you? They were all accidents, though. I love my dogs. I never wanted any of them to get hurt. And how can I hear what you say anyway? How can I see you? You're dead. I killed you. I saw you die. While we are here in the never, you will be able to hear whatever it is that I think. So all along this was a massive misunderstanding. You were trying to save my dogs from me, not invade my world. Uh, sorry about killing you and everything, mate. Mm, that, that's okay, I suppose. So, um, did you want to stay for dinner? Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's do that. Oh, there's a little table and all chairs set out. We can have a dinner party. What have we got to eat? Spider eyes oh, spider and eyes, rotten flesh. Spider eyes, rotten flesh. Lovely. Um, I'm actually not all that hungry. I actually ate before I came. We are in the never. What did you expect? Cake? Cake? Oh, I got cake on me. You do? I love cake. So do I. Oh, we've got so much in common. Oh, come on. We can have a little cake party down here in the never. <laughs> oh, this is nice. We, sh we should do this more often, hit the target. We should have dinner parties more often. Tell you what, why don't we go back to my lovely world and I can give you a tour and I can introduce you to all my dogs and you can maybe be in some of my videos and stuff. That would be fun, won't it? That would be great. But remember, I am kind of dead. You did kill me. Um, my bad once again. Is there no way you can come back to my lovely world then? Is there no way we can get you back? Well, there might be one way, but I, I don't know. I don't even know if it's possible. I think that because you killed me and I came down to the never, if you killed me again down here, I might get back to the surface. Okay, I'll do it. It must be done. It's the only way. Okay, okay, mate, let me just... Ow, oh, ow, ow, so, ow, Sorry ow, about okay, this, easy, no, ow, no hard ow, feelings. Ow, ow, um, why, why don't you use your sword? Personal, ow, mate. ow, easy, just... oh, well, not on the eyes. Ow, okay, easy, right, ah, just... there's got to be a better way. Uh, ah, I'm getting ooh, there, ouch, I just... Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Nearly go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I've done it. I've done it. I've killed him. I've killed. Hit the target again. I suppose technically I've brought him back to life because I've killed him here in the Never. He should respawn back in my lovely world and should be okay. He should be fine and fit and healthy again. And I still can't believe what just happened. This was such a massive revelation. All of that time thinking that hit the target was evil and he wasn't. He was trying to steal my dogs to save them from me because he thought I was killing them on purpose. I need to get home. I need to get back to my lovely world. All these tunnels look the same. Which one did I come down? I think it was, yeah, I think it was this one. I recognize that lava. I still can't believe what happened. Like, I've spent so long trying to prepare for Hit the Target invading me. Like, my whole secret base, Stampy's secret base, the only reason I made that was to defend myself from Hit the Target in case he attacked me and it was all a massive waste of time. I guess I'm going to have to build something else down there. I might build Stampy's research center or something else down there instead but it doesn't matter i found hit the target and he's friendly again i feel so nice it's like when he first joined my world and before i thought he was evil he must have spent the whole time doing the same as me trying to defend himself from me thinking i was the evil stampy long nose but it doesn't matter anymore i can meet him in my lovely world and we can run through my fields together and we can have days out in my fun land and we can have cake together and he can be my new best friend i'm in such a good mood now and go away gas i don't care about you i don't care about your fireballs i got a new best friend take that get back get back zombie pigman i don't care about you because hit the targets friendly oh this is such a good day in my lovely world and go away gas here we go going back to my lovely world hit the target hit the target are you there hello can, can you hear me where are you is he here is he in my house somewhere oh i won't be able to hear him will i I could only hear him in the never because we were in the never and I was hearing his thoughts, not what he was saying. I'm going to have to look around and find him. He's not been here for a while. He might get lost. Hit the target. Where are you? Ah, there he is. Hit the target. Get back. Oh, sorry. Sorry, mate. I, I nearly attacked you there. Old habits die hard, I guess. Anyway, welcome to my house. Welcome to my lovely world. I know you've been 
on a bit of a, a holiday for a little while. Sorry once again about killing you, my bad. Anyway, should we go to the dog house? Should we go find the dogs? Um, which way is it? I get lost. No, that's the mine. Uh, this way, this way. Sorry, I got too many doors. And watch out for googlies, by the way. It is night and uh, we don't want to get attacked in case you die. And um, yeah, you should know quite a lot about dying. Once again, sorry for killing you. Yeah, here's my dog house. I can introduce you to them all. And I promise you, I promise you, I never try to kill them. A few have died, but only by accident. Only by accident. Don't worry. I've never killed any of my dogs uh, on purpose. But yeah, come through here and I'll introduce you to them all. Here we've got Barnaby and Arrow and Flippy and Benji and Arrow and Fluffy and Benton and Aqua and Spring and Gregory Jr. and the Arbiter and Oreo and Duncan over here. Here's the whole gang. They're all here. Well, Fluffy's on the boat and Gregory Jr. Uh, is over at the golf course. I think there might be, I think Oreo uh, might be in the uh, the minecart station. But apart from that, here are all my dogs. I don't know what to do first. We need to have a day out in the uh, fun land and we can go on SS Stumpy and I can give you a proper tour of my world. And you can join me in all my videos. Won't that be fun? Yay! Uh, sadly, though, uh, we have just about run out of time for this video. So me and Hit the Target uh, are going to go and have another dinner party and have some more cake. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and did find it entertaining. Uh, it was a lot of good fun making it. Uh, sadly, though, uh, we have run out of time now. So I'm just going to give Hit the Target back his sword. And you can have your bow as long as you promise not to throw it at me or fire things at me or haunt me again. I didn't enjoy the haunting. That wasn't good fun. <laughs> uh, anyway, though, as I did say, uh, we have just about run out of time in this video. So I just want to end, as I always do, by saying thanks very much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!